Tegan has got beautiful ginger natural hair and she has never colored her hair. And today we're going to be doing a beach wave perm. The word perm as you see it here is written with the four different sized soft bender rods used in this demo. This demo is on past the shoulder straight one length hair. We used smaller rods underneath at the nape. This will help to prop up the heavier hair that falls on top. Let's get started. Take one inch sections. Your first two winds around the rod must be on top of each other to ensure the ends don't pop out. You can then wind up the rod. Your rods can be wound in opposing directions throughout. This is an excellent way to achieve a tousled beach wave. To lock your rod in place, bend it to the opposite direction it was wound. Give the top a little pinch for added stability. As we move forward, Make sure all of your rows and sections are kept behind the ear. Using your own creativity, switch up the direction you wind your rods. There is no wrong pattern. The more diversity, the more interesting the end result. The number of sections used will vary from client to client. Shape of head, thickness of hair, desired curl, will all factor into this decision. Use your own discretion. Okay, let's keep going. You're on a roll. Keep winding until you get to the crown. Let's go. explain the end result you will achieve with this particular method of beach wave perm. This perm will give you loose, large, separated waves. It is only for tousled body. This perm will last from four to eight months, but keep in mind the length of the hair and the lack of layers may pull the curls out a little faster. 
When you start from the bottom section and move upwards towards the front of the head, you are essentially stacking your curls on top of each other. We used larger bender rods towards the top because we wanted the perm to just naturally transition back to her straighter hairstyle as it grows out and relaxes. Let's go. must be kept moist at all times to ensure even porosity when it's time to apply the perm solution. The fact that the hair is spread out lengthwise on the rods makes it dry very quickly. Let's go. As we approach the top section, make sure you continue winding them backwards until you get to the front section. Then we switch it up and we'll explain why when we get there. this forward to create a face framing wave sassy and sexy you'll see what we mean stick around for the end result let's go Now we are left with the side sections which should be relatively small. These also should be wound backwards. Let's go. body with this model's fine virgin hair, we used a stronger acid wave perm with a pH level of 7.9. If you want a stronger wave with longer lasting power in this particular type of hair, you can move into an alkaline perm also. Please reference our video, The Guide to Choosing the Perfect Perm Solution. This will help you choose the right solution for your clients and the end result you're looking for. Yo!
An hour later? Yeah. We just want to remind you that this perming technique can be modified according to rod size and perm solution to suit different hair types, lengths, and textures. In order to get ready for the perm solution, bend your rods up in the front and add lots of protective cotton all the way around. Add your towel and neck tray around the neck, protective plastic in the front area, and an extra towel for your client. Apply perm solution from roots to end. Three perm solution was used in this demo. And don't forget to cover your perm with an extra large plastic bag. Awesome, your perm is complete. Beach waves, here we come. You can either apply product and let hair dry naturally, or you can use a diffuser for maximum volume. Please reference our video, the guide to choosing the perfect products for your perm. This will help customize all your hair care needs.